This will take a motion open today's meeting. Make the motion. The motion, we have a second. Second. All in favor, Mr. DeRoss? Yes. Ms. Valley? Yes. Mr. Hessian, yes, that's unanimous. I want to welcome everyone today to the Rockland Board of Sewer Commission's in-person working session. Um, this is record being recorded for playback later at WRPS. Uh, votes may be taken at this meeting. We have a motion to open the meeting, and it was approved. Um, do you have the minutes for last week's last few meetings? Uh, they were emailed. Okay, I did not see them. We'll move, okay. move them to next week. Okay. okay. We're going to move Robin down to the end. Uh, Yola Project Manager update. What I want to do is just give you a quick overview for tonight uh, so everyone's up to par so there's no surprises. Um, you only sent off a, a list when I had sent them an email requesting that they contract each, contact each of the um, vendors for a status update. And I'm going to get on the list with you guys real quick so that it would be repeated tonight. Uh, Weston Patrick for the CW1P is on target. The draft will have by the end of next month. Phase three is in the final is due in late March. We're going to have a public hearing in early April with the final report due in 2023. Uh, the SSO compliance online system and alerts has been updated and issued to DEP. Board of Commissioners need to update the website for the requirements. Uh, sewer system evaluation study is completed, actions pending, none. Sewer system construction docs bid has been sent to Board of Commissioners for review. You've each got the draft of that. Um, expect to cost $398,400. I&I, 350 removal. Uh, the game plan is once we get through with the draft, we will send it over to Chris Kenny and accounting for review and sign it. Now, hopefully that'll get it out to ad, ad, advertise uh, first week in November, and we're gonna open up December 13th at Town Hall to seal bids. The NI and I removal program, I'm gonna be repeating this tonight, mm -hmm. I wish you. The NI removal program, phase one, action based on item 2B above. The only is to assist with implementation. Uh, we have a contract out pending with that, but not pending, but we have a contract that was given to us by Weston Sampson if we want them to um, administer it. And I keep, we may want to talk about that. Uh, the rate study is pending and would doodle the board of, and board of commissioners in late November, early December. Uh, and our control plan, Weston Sampson provided the town. Plan included actions items, so that's all set. The IPP program assessment, environmental partners provided an update, which we should go in today. Uh, completed the, the NIPTES permit review and IPP program compliance, wedding times compliance monitoring. Asset management grant, the IS is closed, everything's there. Uh, Rick and I will be meeting next week to go over the capital. Other than that, I have, I think I sent you each of the updates from the different vendors. Uh, what's the one? That's Weston Sampson Environmental no. Partners, and here's the areas. Did I send them to you? No. Huh? No, okay, I'll get them to you right after today. So you have them for tonight. This keeps me in compliance because I didn't break the open meeting line. Um, open contract discussion. I'm going to turn that over. With us today is Ryan Paul, and Ryan is the project manager, and Bob Rafferty, who is the principal in environmental partners. Welcome, guys, who have never met. No. Um, for the record, Chuck Hessian, Dan DeRoss, Sherry Valley. And why don't you tell us what's up? Sure. So um, this spring, um, we had talked to Dave Taylor originally, and we he wanted us to do a little review of your IPP program to make sure you're in compliance with EPA's NIPTES permit. 
um, which you're required to do in the latest permit. I didn't forget it, excuse me. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so um, we, I think we finally signed the contract. It was maybe in uh, August or September that it actually got signed. So we started proceeding with taking a look at, um, a lot of people don't know about the IPP program, um, and there's, there's a little bit to it, but uh, it's fairly simple. Um, basically, you're required party by your NIPTES permit to have one. And it's really just for any of your industrial users that may, that either have their own NIPTES permit, that's a categorical user, they call, or um, someone that you deem to discharge a waste that's maybe processed in some way. But it's always up to the, to you and the town what you want to regulate. And you have that in your regulations. Um, so it's covered, I think, in your regulations. Um, we were given a list of the, the companies that you do, properties that you do regulate. A lot of them are restaurants on these lists. So, you know, that's our first question. Most of these are all basically um, grease traps that are on this one, and the other one's a zero discharge list, which is regulated, but it's not really part of the pretreatment program because they have a zero discharge to your system. We sort of limit it to make sure that they continue to be zero discharge. Yeah. Uh, one thing I don't see on this is the new brewery. So I was wondering, uh, one of my questions for my RFI that I sent over was, is there one more list that we're missing? Um, because I have the grease traps, I have the zero discharge, but are there anybody in the middle of there that do discharge something, some kind of waste that's not zero? Um, like maybe a brewery, right? We have a brewery. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. Yes, sometimes it really is about if you have enough flow, you automatically fall into the program. But it's otherwise if you feel it's going to have a negative impact to your system. And brewery waste can yes. have a substantial negative impact. So if you want, you want to include that into your industrial treatment program. Now, as, as if I remember right, I'm, I'm, I'm going on a, a, a bad memory, the brewery was a it technically was going to be a zero discharge. They have a closed loop system, mm -hmm. but I'd still want them to show on a list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so you can confirm that it continues to be only sanitary yeah. waste or nothing. Your yeah. best contact to that would be Rick Katush, okay. and he's the uh, um, project manager here with Veolia. I can give you his phone number if you wish. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, so anything like that that might not be on the list, you might want to look for. Yeah. Um, Rick's number is 781 738 9783. Okay, great. And um, I would want to see, um, have him double check on that brewery because I know, like I said, I know the brewery was zero discharge. Mm -hmm. Right. Closed loop, but I'm not sure. Okay. That relatively new. Uh, they were approved. They went online uh, early this year. Okay. Yeah. So you want. So there is a permit for a zero discharge, um, and all those that are listed there do have permits, and they have to renew their permits, and they have to submit um, backup information mm -hmm. to you, like they would be anything that goes to the EPA would also go to the sewer department. Anything with a drain on the floor, any commercial building should have a grease trap, all right? Um, 
Not necessarily. Yeah, not necessarily. A dealership should have them, right? If you have like an auto place and you'd want a little yeah. water separator, which is like a grease trap. Yeah. 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 In that case, definitely. But like you know, this building, you know. Like an office well, building. If that's the question, none of the auto places place show up on this. Yeah, I might be missing a list too. So that that was just one of my questions that okay, I. You had. may want to check with yeah. on auto dealerships. Yep. And if he can't help it, I can get you a list of those. Mm -hmm. I don't see a lot of hotels on it either. I wouldn't say hotels would really be an industrial. It's an industrial kind of waste, not a not your typical no, sanitary kitchens. waste. Yeah, it's funny because we don't normally see grease traps on an IP. Yeah, that's that. the other thing. The grease traps you could maybe go the way on. It's you know, it's it's completely up to you. It's your program. It could be a separate program. Yeah. yeah right. It just, but it doesn't have to be yeah. on the the IPP program. Uh, it could be a, a separate program, and it. Maybe it is run more like a separate program. We're still trying to collect all your data and how um, your operators actually uh, run the testing and how they sample everything. So that's just, that was also one of my questions. What are, what are we sampling for when we go out there and do spot checks? Um, what kind of data are we collecting from the, the properties themselves have to collect their own data? And they have to provide it to you as well um, when they do provide it as part of their permitting to if they do have their individual NIFTIs permit. Um, all those zero dischargers have a, a NIFTIs permit, so th yeah. those things would be good. I see the double tree on here, but I don't see the comfort in. Mm. Yeah, all the whole thing. Hmm? All of the ends yeah. is the double tree now, isn't it? I don't know, but you know which days in, I'm the days in. Yeah, there's, there's another big one. Yeah, okay. So does one have, have a, a restaurant? Does one have a kitchen and not have a kitchen? I'm just saying the industrial park. So uh, every place yeah, on the industrial yeah, park yeah. should have a grease trap. Right. Because you don't know it's the grease that I'll tell somebody. There's mm -hmm. no restaurant. Yeah, they're, they're, supposed to, they're supposed to come back in whenever the lease changes. Yeah, I, was, I would turn that over to Rick and Rick. I mean, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the city of Boston had to do something over their garages. Yeah. Okay. 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 Don't see the um, ninety nine up there either. Yeah, that's on that. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Okay, so 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 those are the kind of things we're initially just kind of seeing and probably be part of our recommendations. So the goal of this program this our scope was to put together a memorandum for you with recommendations on how to improve your program, um, whether it's adding some properties that weren't on there, whether it's testing for other contaminants that might have some kind of what they call pass-through. So if your, your plant is not picking up on them and it can get somehow pass through, you know, mm -hmm. we, we want to be testing for those types of things, make sure nobody's uh, discharging any of those contaminants. Um, you have some, in your NIPTES permit, I think it was ammonia that um, mm -hmm. uh, has been um, a little high in some years maybe that NIPTES um, really? commented on. I believe it was ammonia. Yeah. Um, so that's something you might want to test these place, these industrial places for, and you know, part of this program could be, oh, we got ammonia coming from a couple of these places. Why are we not having them pre-treat this before it gets into our system? Um, so those kind of things. Was this all part of that audit that took place? I'm not sure. Uh, this was that must have. We came. After this, did did yeah. we? Did the. Oh, Dave was a part of that audit. We weren't a part of that. Yeah. We didn't sit in on it. Yeah, this is just your permit renewal yeah. process. But I do recall that EPA came by. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't. You have not seen a copy of that audit. No. He mentioned that they were okay with everything, but I think it was a cursory review, and him just, you know, them just 
going over this is what we're kind of doing, but I, I think it's worth a little more in depth review. Would would you want a copy said to you? Sure, that'd audience? be great. That would yeah. be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Anything we can get our hands on, we'll take a look at. Yeah. All right. Um. What else? Um. Also, how do, how do you track your permits? Um. It was uh, originally thrown around to put it in the your town GIS system um, and put all these as a separate layer in your internal system so you could... <clears throat> that you could make a lot of sense. Basically what could happen, and we do uh, the MS4 syst uh, GIS stuff for the town, so as part of that we could... It, it's very easy to just add in basically a folder system and you click on the little icon on your map and it brings up all that all the permits for that specific property now something like that would that'll all come out that'll be included in your memorandum that would be included as a recommendation and then would have a sit down and say what we want to act on if with you that had, memorandum. yeah yeah so this is to me that makes initial, a lot of sense initial recommendations kind of bare bones just to point you in maybe a direction and if you want to change something it's up to you that makes a lot of sense i like that when would we see this memorandum? Um, once we get all the information, it'll probably take us maybe two to three weeks to turn around. How much information do you weigh on? Aside from um, what you just went over with the, um, the, we, the other list. We just want to confirm what operators are testing for when they do their spot checks. What kind of contaminants are they testing for? So we can review that and make any recommendations. Uh, the additional list and those were really the main things those would all be rick in rick's valley with the for you to, for yeah we sent them over already to i think it was john john only yeah okay yeah we already sent it to him and well john ayat uh i can't yeah i can't remember the last name is ayat yeah yeah okay terrible names uh, <laughs> i know it's a john um <laughs> so no, john so ayat, yeah so yeah we're looking through all the 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 epa ipp um, backbone type uh, regulation or I guess I should say suggestions it, because it's really up to you on how you do your own program they don't they don't really there's only one stipulation in there really besides a list of what you should in the NIPTES permit uh, commercial car washes metal finishers you know paper packaging what else well, thank God we have no manufacturing of parts yeah you don't have a lot of this stuff landfill leachate um, I think we have two power washers. Set, yeah. And then, and then obviously, a P, a PFAS is obviously in there as well. So, I mean, <laughs> you know. Everybody yeah. <laughs> so, take that with a grain of salt. <clears throat> when this, excuse me, when your memorandum is prepared and finished, would you be willing to come in and do a presentation on sure. it? With the yep, that's part of the uh, that's part of our scope. So okay, that's no problem. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Does anything you do to help the expedite getting that information? Because <clears throat> what we're trying to do is clean the sheet, so we got a kind of an open uh, forum, if you would, for for the next year. We got to go over fees and we got to oh, yeah. very busy. So I'd like to wrap up all these loose ends as soon as we could, hopefully by the first of the year. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I guess if we don't get the information in, say, a week or so, then we'll let yeah. you know. Yeah. All right, you just do me a favor. Give um, Rick a call tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. And um, if he needs help getting it out, tell him to call me up. I'm down to give him a hand pulling it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Anything we can do about coyotes? <laughs> what? Anything we can do about coyotes? <laughs> no, I'm trying to do my fair share. But... We need 22 to get that. No, I... no. I, 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 anything else we can be of help to you or anything else you know? No, it's been great. Is there anything else we can be of help with? Well, if you want, um, Rick is in the other room if you want to go talk to him right now. Oh, okay. yeah, let's do that. Yeah, my God. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. No, no. No, like, all you have to do is, yeah, I'll show you where he is. Okay. Um, thank, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Guy in the right. <laughs>
I mean, 3 m updates should happen. Basic tapes. They do. Serrano's on there. That's a lot. All 3M, yeah. 3M, it's up to you. Any special properties for the other How are you feeling? Good, thank you. You're thinking about something, are you? I don't have anything to give you. You want a little COVID? Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> okay, administrative assistant weekly update. So zoning dropped off a packet, the new shingle mill packet. Did you bring that back? Yep. Okay. So uh, it's down there. All down there. All right. So what they're looking for, and they need a response by November 14th. Um, and they're having a meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. They need it by November 4th. They're having a meeting on November 15th. Candy had suggested, she's the secretary on that project, that you... Uh, send a correspondence to the ZBA for a recap of the entire project since you two weren't here from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned that to Chuck yep. the other day, so I don't know if you're going to pen something yep. before you. That I, way you'll be able to give a more well rounded response when you do the comparison. I could have that to you probably tomorrow afternoon. We send it right to Candy. Uh, Candy? Yeah, do you want me to send it right to Candy? Um, or through you. I'd rather, yeah, because I, or at least copy me, because I'd like to keep tabs no, on. No, I'll give it happening. to you. All right. Get that to you tomorrow afternoon. I'm not sure if it should be directed towards Candy or directly to Probably the Probably Rob Rosa, right? I'll figure it out when I forward it. Okay. And what exactly is going in this response? A review of the plans? Well, there's a cover there's a cover memo on there okay. that says uh, okay. the ZBA received the following documents, so they've made changes to their plan. It's like the original Form K, like yeah. it's another version of that with okay. new plans and. Um, All right. They want to know how it affects sewer and if you have any concerns, basically. Mm -hmm. So um, on October 11th, I emailed to the commissioners a, this is from, can't read the guy's name, but his name is Mark Hebert, federalrealty.com. He sent it to Highway, who forwarded it to us, and he wants to come before the board. He's looking to schedule an in-person meeting to discuss possibilities of a tie-in at Queen Anne Plaza. Do you remember seeing that? Yep. And what I asked um <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, Dave. To do is um, just have him forward um, a request for a PF for forward meetings. But yes, he did. Uh, why don't we see if we can get him in November? The November meeting. What about the Queen Anne's corner? They want to extend the um, sewer line up to that corner to Rockland, I guess. But well, like I said, I haven't seen any plans or narratives yet, so I'll let him come in and explain it. I know the Big Y has a big problem up there. Um, so they'll be at the November meeting. So who's inviting them to the November meeting? I'm not we there right now. Oh, you are going. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do I do that through you? Or do you want me to reach no, out? No, I can for do it. Okay. I, mean, I thought you said something about David. No, I sent it to Dave. Said hey, just have him request a meeting for the sewer department. I get. And what I'm assuming is that that's what they did to you. They didn't. This is the original one. Okay. No, if you could reach out to them and ask them if they'd like to come in in November, uh, should we uh, allocate about a half hour to them? But that's up to you. Yeah, okay, I'll give her a half hour. Uh, do you know the date of your November meeting? 
Um, it's the 15th Amendment. Oh, excuse me. The 17th. November 17th. All right. We'll do that. 107 Myrtle Street contacted me. They were trying to add an in-law with two bedrooms. And he had he had copies of the as built that I don't know where he got them from, but they don't match. And we have both in our packet with the address. So I'm not sure if they don't match because there was a previous addition put on the home, but he wanted to um, you know, talk about the moratorium. Does it apply? It's less than a two family, so wouldn't apply know. to him. Correct. Um, but he wanted to talk about the moratorium and such because they're adding the two bedrooms. So I advised him it'd be better to speak with the commission. So do you want to invite him to a meeting? Sure. Why don't we invite him on the um, if this um, if you would want to have him in a working session or <clears throat> do whatever. If he's in a hurry, we can have him in at a working session meeting right. on. Um, I don't think he's in a hurry. Okay, then why don't we put him on for the seventeenth? What number address was that, please? 107 Myrtle. It's 107. a single family. My mind went blank, sorry. <laughs> All right. Do, do either, do, does anybody want to look at the copy of the plan? I, I would like to look at it once. I could just leave it. I'll, I'll give it to that Friday. Right. I'll make copies of those. What you? Um, so Sherry requested a letter. David Taylor asked me, oh, the, for 320 Concord. Right, which you, you provided the That was the, the approval letter. letter. Are we all set yeah. with that? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do right. you know if we have a fee schedule for that? I've never seen one. Money. There's no fee schedule until right before they, they come in front of the board for approval. So there was an, yeah. right, but that was. <clears throat> they came, but that's just to say, yes, we, he hasn't really come to connect yet. Right. And that was a long time for it. I think the project, is that the one? Oh, no, that's not the one where the project changed. <clears throat> oh, yes, I can 365. Yeah, got confused for a moment. So do they know they're expected back before us? Yes, we okay. I'd like to okay. explain that to them. Yeah, that was Lou Petrosi or something. Isn't he 320 Gothic Street? It was a I, I don't know the name, but I, I, I know the gentleman's aware of it. I think so, because he was here several times. That was times. his Zoom. Yeah. All right. So I'm just following up on 72 Josh Gray Road. The resident had asked for the clean out and didn't give it. I called him three times and I have not received the phone call back. That's Alex King. Right. Yep. I still have his number taped up on my. So I, I called three times, so I'm not going to chase him. Last conversation I had with him was that he was going to contact me. We were going to go go get together, and I haven't heard. I just want to stay organized. <laughs> You're looking at me crazy over there. You're better it. off than I am. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, you gave me the exhibits to the task order, and the last time we met two weeks ago, you said you would follow up with legal to see if that contract was valid. For. Yes, on uh, for um, um, a task yeah. order. Yes, I've sent that out to him. I haven't heard anything from my uh, Chris, so I'm assuming it is. Did I get that from him? I want to double check. I think I did hear back from him. Senior moment, huh? Yeah. I did. I think I did hear from him. Let me forward you a copy of that email. All right, so over to commissioners. Me. I've forwarded this to you guys on October 5th. It was Paul Ryan had a uh, question. I think he was the gentleman was just here. Yep. Um, so I'm assuming that you did. He was reviewing the IPP and he had questions. Yep, and if we everything he needs is in Rick's hands right now. He needs um needs to find out if there's an additional list for, for um, industrial uses. Because there's some missing here. 
uh, primarily the brewery. How do you know that something's missing? Because the brewery's not on here. So the brewery is newer? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. He wanted to update it. That's all he was looking for. We don't have a superintendent to add the brewery. There's a whole process that they have to follow and inspect. And okay, let, let him, uh, let me know what, what has to be done. Who had the question about the brewery? Um, I raised it. I didn't see it on the list. On the dealerships. Right, they might not, isn't it a closed loop it's a, system? It's a closed loop system, oh, but my question, one, my question to him was, does it have to be on the list with the IPP program, even though it's a closed loop? Closed no. loop. I don't think it does because we just had that whole IPP meeting. Audit, right? The audit and the brewery did not have to be added at that time. Okay, so it was in that meeting. We didn't see that. We didn't see that. I haven't seen the audit report. That's what we asked. He him. never gave us back a report. He just had a casual conversation with David okay. that everything was all set. Okay. He was concerned about where dentists and the car wash. That oh, we should eventually add those, but it wasn't pressing, and the brewery didn't need to be added. Okay. But Rick was there for that. Okay, so Rick will tell him that. Yep. Who's he telling it to? Hmm? Who's he telling it to? Paul Ryan. Uh, Ryan, pa Ryan Paul. Paul Ryan. Paul. Paul Ryan. So who who performed the IPP audit? I think that was the DEP. It was the DEP, yeah. So they're not going to issue a written report. Evidently not. We we don't have a big IPP program. Okay. They we gave them we, they gave us a form to fill out. We filled it out previously, so I retrieved it from John Laughlin's desktop, gave it to Rick. He refilled it out. We met all the criteria. It was easy peasy. You look good. You might want to consider adding dentists and car wash, and you know we'll see you the next audit. That's a good audit. But the the the. Um, we st don't we have someone lo looking at the um, IPP? Program? Yeah, that's environmental that partners. That's Rick, that Paul yes. Ryan. That's that's the it's gentleman not West today. Ryan Paul. No, that's the environmental no. partners are okay. looking at the whole process. Okay. The whole program. All right. So I'll follow up with Rick on that, and then I'll be done. I haven't heard back from the ITW Polymer Sealants Company that I sent the new IPP application, yep. but that typically takes a couple of months anyway because they have to grab a lot of data okay. before they turn it in. And it's the same people running the facility, so I don't imagine that there'll be an issue. Um, Pleasant Street at VFW. The Spataro property, it's kind of in behind... Uh, Actually, it's part of it is Pleasant Street Storage. Yep. Okay. So they have a question um, about the moratorium. And I think you want to, I, I think you said 320 is still on the list, and we may have availability after we give away the 67.5, but I think he still had questions, which I don't really feel comfortable answering. No, them. if you'd like to call me, um, if you have his phone number, I'll give him a call. Well, do you want him to come to a meeting so everybody can hear the sure, response? Sure, sure. Why don't we put him till December? Do you happen to know that date offhand? No. I can look it up on one of your agendas. Mm. Uh, that date? I do know the date. I think we have December 15th. Thank you. Because the week after was the holiday. Primrose. I talked to that gentleman and told him that he would be receiving the letter that you signed. Mm -hmm. I returned his second check for ten thousand dollars. He got he's getting a refund of ten thousand plus the two fifty. And that check's going out today. Okay. Okay. Bye. That's it for me. All right. Anything we do to help you out? No, I'm good. Well, I mean, I could always use another body. I'm really getting behind down here. I don't know if that's a discussion. Can we get a temp for temporarily? Well, I just don't know if that's a discussion for this meeting, but... Mm -hmm. I'm just throwing it out there. The other utilities all have 
more people than me. Mm. Water, although they're joint, so they should have more people because they're servicing two towns, but they have, in addition to their super tents, they have a, in their office, they have uh, an office manager, two full-time people, and a part-time person that does receipts. Board of Health has a health agent, a full-time administrative assistant, and a part-time person to enter receipts. And I just feel like I'm getting swamped for well, a little bit. Well, I could see getting the temp in here if we could for now. It's but what we tend to say for that next meeting. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, I, I really can't we have advocate for the temp. Hmm? I really can't advocate for the temp position because by the time I train someone, uh, that you know, it's... How many hours a week are you looking at? I don't know. Most of them are like 14 hours, 14 to 19. Most of the part-times are under 20. But this goes back to the conversation that we had when Biz was here about the conflict and the duties. I'm billing everyone. I'm get, doing the abatements. That creates conflict. So I'm doing payments. refunds. Yeah. 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 One person shouldn't be doing both. Right. So perhaps following the model of the other departments and having someone to post receipts? That's what I was thinking. And then, you know, it's always kind of weirded me out a little bit that if I go out front and get hit by a car, who's coming down here to do receipts, answer phones, and all the nuances of the job? Especially now I'm the only person here, there's no superintendent to kick no, it makes in sense, Robin. It and makes back sense. it up. Yeah. Makes sense now. To at least two people should, like before there were always two people, the superintendent Somebody would answer the calls, they knew about how everything happened. If it's just receipts, that's one thing. You can get somebody to do the receipts, but it's all the other nuances. If I'm the only one that knows it, and something happens to me, I don't. I just don't like the feeling. Okay. Can I ask you to contact Stacy to see what has to take place? Sure. Looking for part timer. Or yeah, part time. Both. What would the hours be, like 10 to 2? Well, I would hope that we could be flexible with the hours because... I would say, yeah, if we get someone that's rough to do the scheduling for that. Yeah. Make it comfortable for somebody because it's only 14 like, to 19 hours. I'm just saying good mother's hours. Mother's yeah, I was hours. wondering, right. could Perfect. that be done in Zoom? But that couldn't be done now offline, like at home. I work from home? No, because the physical receipts... Yeah, and I, also, like Robin said, I'd like someone to know the nuances of the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, not that it's a requirement of the job, but at least, because it would probably end up being a union position, but at least it would be their responsibility. Even part-time would be union? Would not, yeah, the part-time position is clerical union. Yeah. Yeah, definitely talk to Stacy. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. My demo, my 15 you minutes. Are you, you feeling all right now? Oh, gosh. I feel fine. <laughs> um, before you go, oh. uh, you had made copies for us of the website design, Yep. and I'd ask in your spare time, take yeah. a look at it and give it some thought. And I have um, something for it too. Because our next meeting is when I want to get into it. And, and I did have some thoughts that I could probably share with you right now, if you okay. don't mind. No, not at all. So I noticed that you have this page from another town for the yes. sewer department. Yes. And they are using the bar over to the left for the yes. annual reports, bids, RFPs. Yes. And on our web page, we are using that section to highlight mostly other departments. Right. But I have seen that our Board of Health, did I make a copy of that? So our Board of Health, uses that section on the left mm -hmm. to uh, highlight other things, permits, applications, mm -hmm. regulations, which is very similar to what you highlighted in this other town, so mm -hmm. I know it could be used that way. So I made that observation. And I, and I will say that I did talk to Gene in IT, yep. and he said that yes, we could model it somewhat like the other town. Right, and, and I can see and, that because the Board of Health is already doing that. Right, and they're doing it with the um, online permitting. They're starting to get there. Right, 
So, so this outline that I gave you was just my, I looked at what we have on our website and tried to organize it. In a different way, I see that. Right, so, so that we can. So some of the things like um, the wipes and all of that, consumer information, mm -hmm. those are on the top of the page yep. for a reason because we're part of a, a, I mean, David would be able to explain it better, so maybe I can get an explanation from him, but we're part of a group that we pay to be a part of and they give us things to post. Oh, okay, they give us the, the content. Right, yeah. so it has to do with the North River Association. Yep. I know that highway, so those things, they are typically come in with some kind of language and usually a graphic and mm -hmm. they go they go up the top. So you would recommend keeping them on the front? Um, I opening. would, I but would. like yep. currently we don't have the rates and the fees. I, I, I'm wondering, when you say consumer information, do you mean for sewer users? Because it's 593 per 100 cubic feet, are those the rates that you mean? <clears throat> I would say yes. that and for the commercial users as well. Well, I have that down under construction information. Well, rates okay. and so. fees, the 593 per 100 cubic feet, is everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and the fee is $10 per quarter, which is the basic user fee that's rolled into the rate on, on a consumer's bill. The residential sump pump, so to me, that's kind of one of those things that should be up there with um, wipes. Okay, I agree. Because yeah. that's more like yep. a, we want you to notice, notice this. this. Um, the abatement process? I mean, is there a process? Well, typically you would request an abatement if you had a problem at your home where water didn't go into the sewer. And I don't know if I, when, when people call with a problem like that, it's either because they notice the problem or water has sent them a letter on high usage. Water advises them to call here. And what I advise them to do is come in front of the board with all of their documentation. Now, since COVID and we're still on Zoom, a lot of people still send that documentation to me and I present it for them. Mm -hmm. That's the whole process. I don't know if outlining, I don't know what that would gain by us outlining it here. Uh, hopefully, maybe reduce a phone call. Mm, they probably have to still call to get on the agenda. Probably, they probably still have to call All right. say, I've got the problem. I'm, I'm just not sure if, when someone has a problem, they're motivated to call. I'm yeah. not sure if this would what, just create more calls about okay. other nonsense. Okay. And there's a lot of them, on, honestly, that get that don't even make it to the board. Because if you can't document it, it yeah. then in... So How do we know what happened with the water? Do we need it? Okay. Right. So I'm not sure. If we could yeah. probably think on that a little bit more. Yeah. If we could think of a way to present it that it's helpful but doesn't generate more, like, you know, everybody's trying Let's to save it all. And I don't blame them, but just to avoid yeah. heartache and headache for all of us. Um, commercial industrial. So the 2022 drain layer list. That is actually for, for consumer because they hire them. So we put that out there so they they can look for that. So that goes up under consumer. Yep. Yeah. Now the drain layer application and the industrial. I I mean I wouldn't even mind if you put it in both places if you thought it was helpful. Yeah. Um, and then the industrial pre treatment program. I'm not sure what that would gain us. Right. I think that's so minimal right now that. With, is there ever anybody so, new that gets entered into that? Yeah. By looking on the website to join up. We usually, they come to town and we're alerted by town hall and we go after them to get them in the program. And we really don't get any new people except if a restaurant changes hands. So I'm wondering if I put, do we have something on our site now about that? No. All right, then I picked up somewhere else because and the, and the you know, what I've been doing are, is just looking at everybody's yeah. sites to see. And the, I, I, exactly. Yeah. But some towns probably have more okay. commercial So IPD. again, we may not need it. Maybe not. Okay. And, those, and the, the applications are specific to the type of use, too. Yep. Okay. Um, construction information rates and fees. So that, that to me, is the sewer development. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, and we never have published the I and I remediation fee on the website. 
I think we should in light of that. Well, I don't know if you want to do that because I think it's going to be ever changing. And like I thought I heard you say before, when you go after the I and I remediation in the street, different things underground can create different expenses. Wonder if we should just mention that eleven to one ratio and well let's just mark it as a question mark right now. Yeah, put it down because I want to think about that. I, I would yeah. like to have something on there. Maybe an explanation of where the fees go. I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, honestly, the three dollars and sixty-five cents that we got from Acom is so old that yeah. it's. And I mean, right now we charge them twenty dollars. Right, we charge it Why up can't... front, and it's not even enough to cover it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. That's a different conversation. So why wouldn't you put the twenty dollars on here? Because right now it's not enough money to cover, mm -hmm. and if you publish it, you guys will probably feel like you have to honor that, and we're going to be up the. We're green. going to be trying to change that right after the first of the year. I really want to go after those fees. I agree. I, yeah, I have a lot to say on that. Why don't we table that then for once we get the fees settled? Because that's going to take a couple months. I had a lot of them. So the board approved connection wait list, I do believe that's already on there. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if I'm just trying to, to right. right now it's a big long list. I know. It feels like. So yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if your construction information it. doesn't need to be there and the rates and fees under commercial industrial and the board approved connection wait list are both under just Put move it all them under up. commercial yeah, and industrial. Of, yeah. I think so, but yep. that makes sense. I didn't really put a lot of thought into this, so I'm just doing it on the fly. Um, so the about us, right? Um, I think really should be up a little bit higher, right? Because the and way the we consumer. have it now, we have sewer department oversight, and it talks about who you are and mm -hmm. how the sewer works. In my mind, that's equivalent to the about us. Mm -hmm. So I would think you would want it higher, but I'm not sure. We'll put your picture up there. You know. <laughs> not photogenic. Um, Sherry, to your, you know, your idea to put it over to the left, mm -hmm. you know, maybe that could be a, a drop down. It could be at the top about us and they could click and open yes. it. Yes. That way it doesn't take up so much of the page for each, we want. Each of these would be on the left and you'd click on it and then it would open up to all that information that's on Okay. Yeah. So if that's all so on the left, what's in the body in the center? Did you have that? Well, that is that would so when you first go to the website page, yep. that's your landing page, yep. and that's where we want to put the information about the wipes and oh, the okay. sump pump. Yep. Um, but okay, so the consumer information, basically. Oh no. Well, I'm sorry. No, we're just going to pull those items out so that they land on the landing page. That's the first thing everybody sees all the time. And then, if you need more information, you would go to the left bar click on consumer information yeah. and then it would open up to show you the rates, the fees, so, whatever. So basically the, the notices that you want people to notice right away will be on that front page. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's a great um, idea. That's kind of, yeah, uh, any recent bulletins, maybe your notice about the liens. Yeah. Would, you could put up there. Yeah. Um, that's a great idea. And then I'm not sure about the SS overflow notification. I'm kind of waiting to see what environmental partner recommends. What is SSO overflow? The sewer, sanitary sewer overflow. That's a, there's a requirement for a notification, but I don't have all the details on it, but I'm thinking that's where it would be. Right, but that's hardly ever happened. Mm -hmm. That's and a good that's, thing. Right, and that, I don't, I'm not even sure if it's ever happened when Rook was here, but um, where would that go, in the middle? So. So instead of a recent bulletin, we'll call that, the, that's the landing page, that's where we're going to put the wipes, the sump pump, and again, I'm waiting to hear what the details are on this notification that we have to do, and that'll tell me where it needs to go. It's good information because then people, it, it's good for them to know that it's never happened. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, ultimately, that, that's going to be the entry on that, that little link. Yeah. Never happened. Uh, All right, floor. so about yeah. us, then, oh, so you're going to give a description of the plant facility and the collection system map? Mm -hmm. What's the inflow and infiltration right there? 
Under About okay. Us. Under About Us. Um, I thought maybe just a general uh, explanation of what that is. Because all our meetings, we talk about that, every meeting. Right. And, and if people don't tune in all the time, then they won't always get a, a, an explanation of what, what it, it is. is. Just a general, general explanation. So we have about us, we have inflow and infiltration. Mm -hmm. This is what inflow is, this is what infiltration is. All right, and then down below under rules, regs, and procedures, you have the INI control program? Yes. All right, so I would probably be consistent, either say INI or inflow and oh, infiltration. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spell it out. Yeah. Do you want to have something on there about acronyms? Like... Spell it out. That's a great idea. I forget what some of them are sometimes. Under the rules and regs? Or well, maybe just um, uh, when about you say us. about us, put it in the acronyms. Yeah. Sewer acronyms. So then we have the regulatory, the EPA and the NIFTIs. We don't mm -hmm. have anything about the DEP. And then there should probably be some language describing how the NIFTIs permit has changed and that the DEP... That was a good point about the NIFTIs permit changing. Right, because it's going to be mass DEP in the future and yeah. EPA goes away. We should probably explain that. Yeah. And then rules and regulations. We have the sewer use ordinance, the moratorium. Do we still need those sewer rate increase documents? I mean, we've got almost a year under our belt now. No, I don't think so. Because we're probably going to have to put those on again. Yeah, we? we are probably going to have to do it again next year. Well, hold on. You're going to have to do it again. Won't well, we change it? Yeah. So do I want to take that out? If we're going to be doing it again? Well, they're 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 from biz. From they supported the, the last ones. increase. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the old stuff. Yeah. And everyone's been billed under that, right. and they all know the rate. So we publish. It, you're gonna stuff. right because you're gonna publish the rate at the top. Yeah. How we got there is not important now. Right. So we've been there for a while. Right. Okay. And then the plan facility reports, the monthly operating reports, and the annual report. Yeah, so you can click on those instead of having instead of having the long list. Yes, right. This is what we look like now. It goes on and on and on. Right. Well, here it is. I think that's what popped my eye. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many of them. Right. So, all of these are accounted for in your new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope. SSES study. Yeah. Next second page. Oh. God. What second page? I don't have it. Oh, well, here it is. Right engineering studies. studies. So that's kind of all these. Well, we'll be adding the INI program for that as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. The real. I have a question. What is the right peer study narrative? Is that the silly uh, study? Our... Would be is what that's what took place in twenty one. The narrative? I don't know. I don't understand. The right piece of that is wastewater treatment is the CWMP. I believe that narrative is on our page now. It is. I, I'm going to have to look and see what that is yeah. because. Oh, yeah, the narrative, the wouldn't right it be the study? study? It is. But what was the study? Because we have the SSES, we have the CWMP. So what was what makes that different? I think Ray Pierce went through the SSES and made commentary. Oh, so that. it was their review of the yes. SSES. Yes. Yes. I think so we should we'll clarify that. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just rename it. I probably, I put that out there and I probably didn't have a good understanding when I put it up there of what it was. Yeah. Obviously, I still don't, so thank you for that.
Well, there's a few things to think about. That's well, great. Thank you. Great. So I'll go back and rework it and we'll look at it again. Yeah, I think it's going to look nice. It'll be, it, it's better to have it more concise and drop downs than well, all thrown at you. We have so much going on. Yeah. Before you go, I got these in an email. I don't know if you've seen these from OPS. I mean, Weston Sampson. Bills. No, they why would they send them to me? I don't know. They came directly to me. They have my email address because I usually get them direct. Okay. What are these for? Uh, one is for the um, I and I. That's for the design, and that's for the I and I control plan. So what am I charging them to? The contracts out on those. Um, All right. This is the I and I control number. plan, and this one is. One is for the, the one. this one here was for the. Oh, that's the bid scope. Oh, yeah. Bid scope, okay. right. So they should both go and, and tell me if it's wrong. 680297. Um, I would have to get the book. Yep. That's I have notes written on them which to change yeah. what. Okay. That's the article that got re allocated to cover I and I, a fluent meter, and engineering. Okay. So, I'll double check. Let me comments. know if that doesn't make sense. All right. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Is it? Is that it? That's it. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Robin. Thank you. And I'll bring whatever I said I would do, I'll bring it back in here. I was going to make you a copy. Okay. Three copies. Okay. okay. Uh, under the design EPA order update. It looks like we're still on plan on schedule for the November submittal. Um, Did we get a response from our letter regarding the October 14th extension? Nope. I sent Chris two responses. Okay. The last he heard, he said uh, he was waiting on the draft of the bid spec, which we have now, to go out. The dates that he was given were uh, going out to advertise first week in November in the general ledger and bid to be opened um, December 13th. December 13th with the holidays may be pushed out, but that's what he was waiting for to give um, mm -hmm. the EPA call and I will send him a copy of that draft that we have today. Yeah, that, might be what he's, that might be what he's waiting on. Yeah, that's what I think he's waiting on. I have a question under project manager update. Yes. The the the, uh, the rate study is waiting on budget and capital expenditure information. We Rick and I Rick and I are meeting. I just spoke to him. He was out today. Was his first day back. Mm -hmm. We're going to meet Tuesday on on all those items. There's going to be a. Um, <clears throat> A working session with just um, myself and the project managers and Rick next Wednesday, the 26th, to go over all the loose items. I felt it'd be easier that way than at a public meeting. That's and I have no problem with that. Um, they're looking for the FY22 actual budget. Yep. So you you guys Rick is pulling that. that together. That okay. Night. Capital outlay spending. All right. So I'm off that okay. task. Uh, digester piping update. I guess they were in finishing up the digester, I believe, this weekend. Um, he should have an update on the design piping, mm -hmm. which now will lead into the Guardian discussion on, on whether that goes to Jan or Russell. That's an I believe that's going to go out to bid because it's going to be 300000 anyway. Mm -hmm. oh, what? The piping? The piping design and, and installation and contract oversight. Yeah. That's going to be covered under a grant. Um, a stainless steel Arpa. 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 Part yeah. of the Arpa. Stainless steel. Uh, stainless steel. How far have you got it? Are they going to store it or are they going to send it back through uh, the gas company? I don't know what they're going to do with it. I haven't seen anything on it, so we'll have to get that tonight. Uh, the generator update. Um, Rick mentioned that we could get a generator at a, at a steel price. However, it doesn't comply with the Chapter 30 regulations. It has to go out to bid. Um, and 
I was hoping to kind of get around that where it was going to be outside the building and not part of the structure, but he says it is considered part of the structure. Oh. So it has to go out to bed. It's going to be attached to the building, so it has to go out to bed. So I'm going to have Rick put together, I'll tell him tonight to put together a scope and let's get that out. If I had a had a prioritize next year, I'd probably say um, Spruce Street, then the generator. Mm -hmm. Good generator is in tough shape. Let me jump for us. No. Legal matters, I want to jump over. We can just cover that with Chris. Accounting update, Ms. Valley. After website update, we did. So no. why don't we go to a company update? Um, I don't really have much to add to it. Um, I was hoping to sit down and work with Robin's accounting books to make sure that we have, that I'm putting these funds where they belong and the expenses and How so How are we forth. looking though? So. I and I, Mike. Um, nothing's changed on the I and I. As far as I know, we still have, the balance is 193,000. And so we're expect, not expecting Concord until the spring, is that? Excuse me? We're not expecting the fees from 320 Concord until the spring. Spring right? anyway. Till um, til that five grand, till we get that right. that work done. Okay. Um, and then we have the, the five hundred ARPA pledge, which, based on Weston Sampson's presentation the other day, we're looking at an expense of four hundred thousand to go against it, and we still have a two hundred thousand standard budget outline for two hundred. All these engineering, the um, rehab oversight, the control plan, and the bid scope, I gave that account number to Robin, um, and I need to verify these funds because that pretty much oh, we'll cover it on. takes it. Yeah, that, but that pretty much spends it down to 16 left. God, we better get some revenue in here fast. Mm -hmm. You know, it may not be feasible. We may have to sit with the DEP to say about, okay, we're losing some flow, but I don't think they'd be very receptive to it. Um, I don't think I'd ask that question. Oh, I don't something know. Gone. <laughs> I don't know until we get the work going. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Once the project's running and we can point to an accomplishment. With that said, uh, tonight's meeting is going to be a very busy agenda. It is. Now, did, did you want to talk about the rehab contract, the oversight for one year? Mm. What I wanted to talk about is the oversight contract. We could we go two ways. We could have Veolia do it. That's to make sure the work is being done correct. Yeah. Or we just keep it with the firm that did the specs and all that. One way or the other is going to be pay Peter or pay Paul. Right. Uh, what I would like to see do it, because I think we're getting a handle on our outstanding contracts. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like after the November submittal, start weaning Veolia out. Because now I think we know what we have out there before we didn't. Oh, yes. The, we got the project management right. activity. Yeah. So I think we should stop weaning Veolia or out of it. And let's just go with the Western Sands that we could. Now, this, I'm not saying vote now, but I'm just saying it makes, to me, it makes a lot more sense than rather having another party involved in their work. And plus where they said they're going to warranty it. Hold on. The big one that's going to be a hit is that uh, 150 year one. The control plan? Yeah. Um. Now, if, if their numbers are right on the, um, on the, um, with the opera funding. It's about the same each year. But well, we have to issue the contract this year to get monitoring, to get it going. So, 
and that would be 150,000. So for this year, we have to find 150,000. The following years, we can start budgeting that, right? Right. Because to do this successfully, they really got to stop doing that monitoring work. The metering program. In spring. Mm. But what I'm looking at is if the numbers are, are, are good, we could trim, we, we said we had that opera funds. No. Of no. 500,000. No. And if the RINI comes in at four, Mm -hmm. There's a hundred thousand right there. Mm -hmm. So I think it is doable. I mean, that's some serious discussion we have to have, and I yeah. think we need some serious accounting numbers from Scott. Yeah. Um, and and I've I've been trying to work with Scott, but. Really, what I need to be doing is working off Robin's books because they're more current. Okay. So Robin makes the entries to her books and the accounts. It goes to the warrant to Scott, to the town treasurer who pays it, and then that information goes to Scott. So really, Scott's yeah, down the line and be. not current. Right. Robin is more current. So, you know, I'm going to plan some time to sit down and make sure that my numbers are right because we are now getting down to okay and give some thought to that five five maybe realistic of what situation we're in um yeah i i totally think that would certainly ease the pressure off robin um it takes care of the separation of duties which is always important yeah um In the long run, help us organize till we get some of them in. I did not get a status on, from Stacy on uh, the ads or anything. I will do yeah, that tomorrow. Um, we need to really start running that up. Uh, just the uh, things tonight, I see. When we do that update, I'd like yeah. you to bring up your idea of what you mentioned last week. Yep. Yep. Don't want to speak to that. All right, are we talking about this contract or not? What? Which one? The rehab oversight. That, and the amount for that? 49. 49. Western Samson. That's, a, that's, Is that that's tonight again, or today? Huh? Is that? Again, that's either a Violi or, or, or one of the people who did it, not say with the people who did it. Again, trying okay. to the main thing, trying to wean them out. It'd be easier yeah. trying to manage one customer, one vendor, mm -hmm. and bring in another one. All right. Okay. Um, I do have some questions. It doesn't, sure. doesn't need to be done today. Sure. Um, My time is your time. On the rehab? Okay. You got your copy of the contract? Of? For the 49K? You told me to look it over and I did. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. This, this is what it looks like. I'm going to sweep it all of a sudden. What's that? Where does it go? Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, go. What's beeping? The camera? Yeah. Go. Oh, I don't know. Um, I would go to 2.2.1, top of page 3. As many as 300 hours assigned for this work? Excuse me, say that again? Um, all right. 2.3.2? 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. The printout looks different. Two, two, Schedules. One. Yeah, as many as 300 hours is assigned for this task. Oh, okay, yeah. That's entitled, that's a whole enchilada. All right, so that's no extra charge. No, that's all that's. All that, that's that, all that whole thing. That's what they're saying. That portion of the scope is going to cost. That's what he's anticipating it's going to take. Okay. That's, good. that's justifying the cost. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. Uh, 
2.2, I no item H for records. 2.2. Go to the section for records. Conflict. What page you want? Well, mine mm -hmm. mine printed out differently. Okay, okay, two kids, okay, records, yeah. That next paragraph, I, with all the different records they're keeping, I'm assuming that we can get copies if we want? Oh, yeah, we can get copies of those. Okay. All right. Those, all those records will be on electronic for us anyway, right. at the end of the program, project. So Article 4 is the time of the project, and it says it starts within 10 days of signing the agreement. But I thought we weren't going to be doing anything until the spring. No, because remember he mentioned that we could get going on that now? I was under the assumption it had to be in the dry period. Yes. And he oh. said he could do it right away. Okay. So. No, all right, so no need to wait. And it will conclude in July. What if it takes longer? That they'll have to advise. We'll probably do an addendum to it. Okay. All right, so they talk about hazardous materials encountered mm -hmm. under hazardous waste indemnifications under Article right, 7. Yeah. And then they have a number of sections all on that. And then they have another one stuck under November, under Article 8, 8.4, which looks the same as the other, or F733. So I didn't understand what the difference was. Okay, believe that's personnel. Okay, what that is, is that's under the, uh, that's the indemnification to the personnel working. The other is if it's found. Oh, okay. Whose responsibility is that? Oh, okay. This is all that that, that section is the one the legals look at. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, when you're digging stuff up. I just hope his estimates on that work is real to get all the savings. And then Article 11.14. This says that the engineer's not in default if something happens that nobody could see coming. Yeah. Where's our, where, where is it that says the owner's not at fault? Okay, that's something Chris will probably put in. Yeah, I would, I would definitely want to see that. Okay. That's it. I won't specify that to you. Did you hit the button? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad I went with plan B, too. Um, That's fine. Uh, let's see. Keep the study. Good study we have. The good spec. So, The last question I had under open contract discussion. Yes. We have. Who's the contract? Wright Pierce. Wright Pierce. This, this, is, this is the sewer overflow. I, all I have for them is their own call. I do not have the system for the silver flow. And it might be done. I don't. I think that is done. So, did we get a report or a recommendation? Oh, you know what? No. This, I think this is going into the CWMP. 
at least contact Kevin on that. I'll give this right back to you. Mm -hmm. This was open at the yeah. right there. Right. So where's our draft plan? I think that's going into the um, SS into the CWMP, but I will I will check that out with them. Yeah. So. Unless he sets that the day. Right. We'll be able to hear him while asleep because we're putting No, it wasn't. It's a bang. I don't like this. All right. My house is in this room. Uh, Hallam, the only thing we're waiting on them is the design spec for the piping. Is there yeah, anything? As, as far as that goes with ARPA, um, I talked with Jen. Uh, she emphasized how important it is that we keep the right complete records and we submit everything to her and she suggested that I make up like a checklist of what needs to go in and she'll work with me to make sure that that's accurate so I I'm gonna leave get on that. that up to you oh, yeah I'll get on that I'm trying to keep all my stuff together And you had a temporary person here. Where would you, where would you put a desk? Huh? Mm -hmm. Where would you put a desk for a temporary person? No, I don't want to. My bedroom's a mess. Okay, I do want to get that shingle right. on tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll send you copies of that for that. But with that, I'll take on. Are we done? Yeah, I'm done. I'll take a motion to end the meeting. Motion. Second. That did make time. All in favor, Mr. DeRoss? Yes. Ms. Valley? Yes. Mr. Hessians, a yes.